Hello again. Now, when we last left off, I was messing with these, uh, simulation thingies. What we want to do now is a very important part of any growing healthy projectile's lifespan. Make it destroy itself. So what we want to do is, whenever this guy hits something, it needs to do something. So we're going to just add a hit event. Boom. Very simple. And this is just basically adding a, whenever this guy, in general, collides with anything, he'll do something. So again, we're going to print off a string and just say, I'm dead. Mm. Thus is the life of being a projectile. So let's go ahead and play. Uh-oh. Okay, so we can clearly see it intersecting that box, and this is kind of embarrassing. Why are you intersecting that box? Well, let's see. The root has... <laughs> that might be it. I don't think the root has collision. So let's go ahead and get rid of this root. The root is on fire, so delete it. And I want to say that our collision sphere has become the new new root, but let's try it out just to be safe. Boom. I'm dead. Uh-oh. You know what this means, ladies and gentlemen. This means that it's working, but it's getting collided from within the inside of this turret. So let's see if this will work. Go back to your project settings. Go back to collision. And you know what? I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to give you five seconds to figure this out. If we want our projectile to go through our turret, how do we do this? I'm going to pause this video. Actually, I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to stop talking for five seconds. You can pause the video and go ahead and do the next step. I want to see this. Go ahead. Try it out. Are you done yet? Should be, because you used the pause button like a good person. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make a new object, blah, blah, blah. You've already done this. You don't even need me to explain it to you, because you're that damn awesome. Boom. Save my, save my voice a little bit. I'm going to make this collision enabled. Boom. Uh-oh. And then this is a turret. Ooh beautiful and then most importantly we want to make sure that it overlaps with the projectile we don't want to completely ignore it because what if what if we want to destroy the turret later on ignoring it won't let that happen but overlap will say hey should I destroy you yeah you should okay cool all right so let's accept that got to be careful I don't want Facebook making noises all right so let's try this yeah let's try this again I think that's the only setting we had to change to be honest with you so let's go back to our blueprint turret and make him... Ah, look at that. Look at that. We did that. You did that. We all did that. Hugs all around. Just hugs. And he's, he's still not working. This is highly unusual and, quite frankly, very annoying. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back and I found our solution. Go back to your project files and just pause the videos and make sure your settings are the same as mine because <laughs> these were perfect. What the problem is, is these lying bastards over here. As you can see, we have our presets set to collision. Now, since these are preset, they'll have no way of knowing what a turret or projectile is since we made these far after. In fact, let's see if we can change them here. No collision. No overlap all. <gasps> we can change it. So from in, oh, double click overlap all and just set it to where it will overlap or ignore... Well, yeah, overlap is fair. So make sure it actually overlaps all. Let's double. Oh, you know what? Overlap. Hold on, hold on. Let me double check. That's, that's probably because they're not o set to overlap all. They're set to no collision. So let's go to overlap all. There you go. You got the goal now. Boom. All right, now let's play. That probably worked for you when it failed for me. There we go. Now look at that. Oh, and he's dead, and he's stuck there. This is the next problem we got to fix. So let's go ahead and fix it. So, first off, let's get this jerk out of here because he's too damn close. And that's good. So, let's go back into our projectile BP. Boom. And once it does hit something, we should destroy it. So type in destroy actor. Now, for some reason, and I don't know why. Oh, you know what? This is context sensitive. Never mind. This doesn't work for me usually. Now it's just trying to embarrass me, and I don't like that. 
So let's go ahead and spawn this jerk. And then we follow him and we see that he gets destroyed. Actually, you know what? Let's line him up with the wall so we can actually see him get destroyed. Boom, he's dead, son. Just like that. Boom. That's perfect. That's kind of what we want. We want to kill the projectile in the nicest way possible. So, that being said, one thing that's kind of annoying is that you notice that the projectile is just shooting by itself. We don't want that. We want it to just stay still until we give it coordinates. So go into this projectile movement and we see what a velocity is. Just set that to zero. It has no business being there. We don't want a projectile to move. Plus that kind of screws us up. So leave that there. And it will spawn but it won't do anything. So there's really no point in testing. Just compile and move on with your life. You'll find another blueprint, I promise. So let's save all this and set our homing target as just as this guy told us to. Again, I'm going to hover over this and if true, we will accelerate toward our homing target. Homing target must be set after the projectile is spawned. So what that means is, I'm going to get rid of you. You've been fun, but goodbye. We got to set a homing target. So let us drag this guy out, our projectile mesh. And from him, there we go. Set our homing target. That was easy. Ooh, that was that easy. We need to put something here. We have nothing to put here. Let's go ahead and just promote this to a variable by right-clicking that opening, and we got a new variable. Now, as we see here, this is a scene component. This may come in handy later. Let's call this projectile target boom actually you know what let's make this a little bit more personal let's call it my target boom so now we need to have a way to set the target of this jerk to us the player <laughs> let's go ahead and put that responsibility on the baby daddy the turret BP so once that's once this guy spawned the turret we need to start calling something at least have a way to set my target to something that it could fire at. So we wanted to fire at our character, right? All right. So again, just as before, we're going to want to cast this as a projectile turret. Boom. Perfect. And as a projectile per turret, we want to set my target. Boom. And who's going to be my target? you going to be my target, this top-down character that has been cast and it's, it's not working. Why is it not working? Top-down character is... Uh, top-down character reference is not compatible with scene component reference. Ooh, this is very important. What it's saying is that a character is not a scene component. What is a scene component? I'm guessing that a scene component is just a component. Anything that's in the scene that's just a piece of the overall blueprint. So let's go ahead and let's see if I could, if there's any way to, hmm, I don't know. Ooh, character. Characters have, con ooh, there we go. This, this is good. So we're going to want to use, let's use the capsule component. This should be able to fo uh, follow us because our character is totally encompassed by a capsule and it shall follow us. So now we've set this to my target. Compile, do we get any errors? Nope. Do you have any errors? Nope. Nobody got anything to say? Good. Save them both. Tell them you love them and hit play. And nothing is happening. You know what? Let us let's try something. Let's try something safe. Let's um create promote this to a variable. Uh oh, get out of here. And this new variable from the setting of the homing target is going to be called projectile target. There we go. So now what should happen is after we spawn this guy, we should, well, after we cast that and we get this component, we should set this uh, component 
to our new projectile target. Actually, I should have dragged out alt drag. Alt drag, very important. There we go. I said connect. Dragged, drugged, dragged. There we go. So let's see if this works better now. Why should this work better? No idea. Computer engines are weird. They never make sense except for when they're making sense. So let's go ahead and play. Uh oh. Still nothing working. Oh, but it's not giving us any errors anymore, so that's great. So why is it not accelerating towards us? This is a conundrum. Um, let's see. Here's a good time to set up debug mode. Let's go down here and make sure that all this is actually happening. So make sure the last thing actually happens. So And it actually happened. Cool, so there's nothing wrong with our turret, per se. The problem comes from our... Let's get disable you. From within our projectile. Let's see. Should be homing. Should be moving. I don't know what to say at this point, children. How about this? Let me pause, and I'll be right back. Children, children, can you hear me? Okay, I'm back. I don't know why this works. I can't explain this to you. Maybe one of you can in the comments below. But all I did was add a tick and just added it here. Now let's see what happens. Boom. It's following me. Isn't that some crazy stuff? Isn't that some crazy stuff? Boom. I'm dead. Now, a tick is every frame, and this is going to be called every frame. So I'm guessing since be begin play is set only once, it will only set this once, but this needs a constant update, I assume. So the tick is probably the best way to go about doing this. But this leads to, I saw several problems there. One is that um, this is going to keep spawning stuff. Actually, it doesn't. It stops spawning stuff as soon as we leave this radius rather than when we leave this radius. So we need to come up with a way to have it start spawning stuff once we enter this radius, but have it stop spawning stuff once we leave this radius. So I'm going to take a break here and uh, make another video for, I don't know, ad revenue purposes. Uh, pick up next time, and we'll continue from here. Thank you for watching. Continue!